bit of what the word is saying, like I said to those that lost and won. I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. Everyone that lost someone, we also want to uh, also mention to, uh, and that scripture again is coming from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 13. And read the whole chapter there. I just, you know, we don't have the time to really give you the whole thing concerning that chapter, but that's the meat of the chapter. And also our First Lady Doris McClinton, we want to send our love and our thanks to you for just being the woman that you are of God. And also want to dedicate this also, also to you. Because you just lost your mother, and we want to let you know that we are still on this battlefield. And I want to let everybody else know that she is a strong woman, and she is really hanging in there. And so that's also to you. And also to the 37th Street family, we want to just let you know, shouts out to love. Continue to stay on this battlefield for the Lord. Now we have a special show on today. It is a surprise. Now we have let this surprise out to the whole world. We are dedicating this show to the Bishop W.C. McClinton. He don't know yet. We have the, the uh, Bishop W.C. McClinton gospel singers here. That's all over the YouTube. You already know how they do. They just giving God the praise. So what we're going to do is we're going to start over here to my far left. And she's going to introduce herself to you. And we're going to bring it all the way around. And we got something special. So just hold on tight. My name is Tiara Rushing, and I'm just here to say a few words about my pastor, W.C. McClinton. All right, okay. My name is Shauna McCree, and I wanted to say some things about my pastor, too. All right, okay. My name is <laughs> Tiffany Rushing, and I'm going to be saying a poem about my pastor, W.C. McClinton. All right, okay. Now, what we did was, when, when, when he asked us to do the show, they did another show, before, previous of those of you, you already seen the show, and he was the host of the show, and so this time, he has me doing the host of the show, so we're going to dedicate it right back to where it should be. You know, we don't, we don't give our pastor praise, because he don't, he's not that kind of person, he don't want us to give praise, he wants us to give our praise to God. But we're going to pour out this surprise to him on today. So we're going to let him know how much we really love him. Because he didn't tell us not to love him. So we love him with all our heart and all our soul. He already knows. And um, I guess we'll start off with TJ. And first, how did you come up with your, 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 uh, your, your poem or your special surprise written notes? Um, I just thought of all the stuff that he does for us and, and all the stuff. That and all and the, how much we care about him. Oh, okay, okay. And all the times he done took us out to pizzas and everything. Uh, just so much love, just shattered love. All right. How did you come up with your your writing that you're gonna read out today? Well, I was talking about the things of how he helped people and how he baptized children and how he might have saved people's life by his speeches. Oh, okay, okay. And how'd you come up with yours, Tiff? Um, I was watching TV, then y'all told me to write a poem. Mm -hmm. So I wrote a poem, and yeah. Yeah, I know it's a good one. And I want to also let you know that these are all straight-A students here, too, so they're going to be very, you're going to be surprised what they wrote. I haven't heard it, so I'll be surprised just along with you. But I know it's good because it's about a good man. That's Bishop W.C. McClinton. You already know we love you. Okay, who want to start off first? All right, Shauna is in the house. Uh -huh. All right, go ahead, Shauna. What okay. do you got? My mom was called Dear Pastor McClinton. Okay. okay. You are my biggest church here, the loyalest one I've ever seen. You're not mean, you're always kind, and that's why everybody loves you. If nobody loves you, they must be crazy or taking the wrong sleeping pill, <laughs> or they're just dreaming. Me and my dad love you so much, we would give you $10 million if, if we could. You're the number one guy, you've got the stuff, the, the steps, the moves, and I like the suits. That's why everybody loves you, and everybody loves your big-hearted fashion queen wife. Without you guys, this without you guys, this wouldn't even be called a church. You guys are doing great things, and you deserve awesome things. God is looking down on you, crying with 
with tears of joy and can't stop. You don't have a single enemy, not even an ant. You're the most talented person in the world. You're the most pow powerful preacher, and you should be Jesus Christ's partner. Everybody loves you so much that when you walk, people should be crying to get an autograph from you. When you talk, people should be fading. Without your you, your churches in Oakland, without your church, in churches in Oakland could even be called a church. You inspired inspired me as much as my dad. You're the reason why I get good grades in school, and you teach me g the good methods instead of bad ones. I like you because you're a truthful pastor, and you're not a greedy one. There. They can't be pastors without the main pastor, which is you. Thank you for praying for the church so that you can keep on, I mean, praying for the church so that you can keep on preaching and so that you can keep on helping people. I love you so much, your truest and dearest friend. Sincerely, Shauna. Oh, wow. 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 I know you meant every word of that. I can just tell it by the way you, um, you read that. And what grade are you in in school? Fifth. Fifth grade. Wow. Now we can, we're going to talk something about your uh, about your teacher because I'm all just all tied up in the words you just said. So I'm kind of like trying to catch my breath here just off of what you were that read. That was awesome. That's the same way I feel. Mm -hmm. You must have read my mind. <laughs> so what if, you want to give some shout outs or something to someone? You, I know you want to shout out to your dad for sure. Well, I do want to shout out to my dad because he's a very great man. And he's a drum player and a piano player, and he helped people a lot. And he makes them laugh on Sunday. And he gave a $100 donation to the pastor when he really needed it. Cause he